Welcome into another episode of American Truck Simulator. We are here still in Butte, Montana. We are taking a nice load of ethane, 51,570 pounds to Prim Nevada, the UOP. So let's get in the big rig. Let's get on our way, of course, 14 hour drive, 847 miles. Projected 417. They are wanting it by 8:30 p.m. to 3:06 a.m. Saturday. It is a, I believe this was a rush job, um, but either way, we are doing okay, or we will be doing just fine um, with it. Of course, now it's the afternoon because I had to stop, um, stop to sleep. So um, we have one more, one more payment to do. So tomorrow, because we will have to sleep, because so if it's 14 hours, it's 12 and a half hours. So we won't get there um, today. But we will then have, yeah, one more. Um, one more day of payments and then we are fully done with that then everything is total profits besides speeding tickets forgetting to turn on the headlights like I almost just saw now um, you know ignoring the sleep so things like that eighteen grand from Richard see and we're at eight hundred Fifty-eight thousand dollars. This contract is ninety-seven thousand. So, I mean, we could be close to a million bucks um, in the account. And then, I, no matter what, after this contract, I will for sure. I might upgrade that garage so that it's just um, turned on my. A little early um, I might try um, and maybe buy a couple um, like for sure one maybe two small ones and wait to do the upgrades till a little later um, but we'll see just to kind of give us different garage garages in different areas so But we will see. See what happens. Sometimes I almost want to, um, like, how you can see some of these um, streamers or influencers, if you want to call them that. They will, um, oh boy, um, they'll just drive like super fast, right? See how fast they get there, damage doesn't matter. Um, like I've seen one on Instagram, my buddy always sends them to me where it's a guy dressed up as a girl and he's definitely in one of those seats. I, I, I don't know if it's hooked up to his computer where it actually bounces like if you were on an air ride seat or if he just kind of does it himself. Um, but they're quite hilarious um, to watch because I mean he'll just be oh excuse me honey and just you know kind of all over the place. actual phone down but again hope you guys are doing well on this Monday morning hard to believe we're you know a couple of weeks into May already you feel like it just was getting started and next thing you know you yeah 
it's just crazy how fast all of that time really goes. But that's okay, right? Such is life, as I always like to say. Uh, 75, so we've got the crew set. In 14 hours, so you guys are all buckled up for the ride. Should check too. Um, maybe I can lower the steering wheel just to look. Um, slowly trying to gauge what the. I think that's just the clock. Um, I was looking at what mileage wise we're at. Oh, just under 60,000, it looks like. So again, not doing terrible, but, you know, could always, you know, make it work. Like I said, at times I do kind of struggle, like, mm, I almost want to, um, like, I almost want to get a new truck because I'm really feeling like getting a new one but I'm also resisting because I've told myself as I've told all of you that I am trying to get um, um, I am trying to get 200,000 miles on one truck just to be like yep we did it Come on, car. You can move over. I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah, what what are we doing here? Texting and driving virtually. That's a no-no. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. That I thought of, do I make a rig that's really meant for normal driving only? Like, I don't know if there's really that big of a deal, a difference. 275 gallons. Yeah. See, like, with the trailer, 1,800 miles. I mean, we'll still have over 1,000 miles until we're on empty. And we've only got one more skill level to go before we are maxed out, too. Which is just kind of crazy to think at the same time. Maybe I can be smart here, not get any fines or anything that could help then, you know, get us farther up. We are into Idaho. Again, we are going to Prim, Nevada, so. I don't know why we're so um, congested. Like both sides. I see the semi in the right lane here is passing a bus on the left, or on the, in the right hand lane. The slow lane, nonetheless. Traffic is a bit heavy right now. Not even going that fast. Makes you go, hmm, is this the game's way of trying to slow me down? Which I'll have to stop here. Ooh, I can bypass? Wow. I honestly figured I would have had to pull, pull in for it, to be honest. Pretty impressive, to say the least. Not going to complain. I mean, I will take it. I really will. It would just be nice to get a couple more. Um... Okay, now the school buses are out of the way. Let's get 
to 75. There's that. Surprised he didn't uh, give me a speeding ticket, to be honest. Now, the only tough part, he's behind me. Okay. Ten hours, forty minutes to go. Not too bad. Yeah, it looks like a Peter ship, Peter ship, Peterbilt dealership. Sometimes it's like, oh, it'd be fun just to go stop there, but then it's like, nah, that's okay. I like how it says Peterbilt, so you know what it is. I just have to discover it. Shabby. Like I said, we'll have plenty of time um, because we will have to stop to sleep. Back down to 65, which is fine because, yeah, somebody tells me he is pulling off, yep, which he did. Now if cars are coming, they'll we'll get moved, moved back over. Besides, we are going to go 70, so... Honestly, I was waiting for that to say 75. Oh, I'm just, I'm not even going to set the cruise right now. And it's only because climbing this hill here I knew this one was going to be take a little bit. Right, yeah. Can almost get to seventy. Oh, all trucks in the right lane? Mm, yeah, watch me. I will, just not right now. Come 
on. There. Can basically just keep driving. Nine and a half hours to go. We all love to see it. We really do. Or at least I sure do. Now the slow climb up to 70 miles an hour. I mean, 75 is still really good, so at least this car is going fast enough that I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm getting to 75 and now running into the semi and whatnot, which I'm catching back up to the Swift truck, so what's going to be unfortunate is this car here on my left. Let's put my signal on already. Only because I know that I will catch up, or that I will get past, past him. So, Two hundred dollars, and they've leveled up. Eight and a half hours to go. Ooh, can go eighty now. Nice. Must be in into Nevada. Uh, nope, Utah. Whoa. surprised I didn't get damaged or anything for that. I'll be real honest. Woof. I don't see it's things like that sometimes where I'm like, why did the car just turn into me? It didn't even do anything. See, 90, yeah, as long as I don't have any big fines or anything, um, we should, should actually hit, um, hit it spot on, honestly. Oh, damage on me? That's 
That was bogus. For this car jumping in my lane. Wow. Don't worry, we're moving. Who knows what the car's going to do now? Because it got spun around. There's a good traffic jam. No, that, honestly, that makes me a little upset because I was minding my own business. Like, how long that would actually sit there for. Just from the game itself, not understanding. Eight hours to go. I need me to stop. to interstate. Oh, thank you. a good chance. Basically seven hours left, 428 miles to go. Oh, we might. I wonder if we'll go towards Las Vegas. Yeah, obviously. Trailer. 
Doesn't look too good. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this semi was coming into my lane. I was going to yell at the game pretty soon. Why would you do that? Again, we've got ethane, delivering ethane to the UOP in Prim, Nevada. $97,000 for it. Yeah, if we could get $910,000 in the account, we would be at a million. But I don't, I don't know, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. Utah. Just because I see Provo, Provo, so. Still doing decent though, on time. Six hours, 19 minutes. We have five hours, yeah. I'll say I've left two hours. Two hours to go, which is fine. Not that big of a deal, to be honest. I don't think it is anyways. Person kind of forgets though in your staying like driving later. I know you drive later at night. Five, look at that. I like that. It means we can go 80. And who doesn't love that? It's kind of like when you're going from Houston to Dallas. I mean, people aren't kidding when they say, like, if you're driving main drag 35 I think is still what it is through Dallas or like through Texas you get into some areas and people are like 100 miles an hour when I used to live down in Oklahoma and every once in a while we, I visited a buddy down in Houston once who went to school with me in Oklahoma and I mean it was nuts the speeds a person would go Drive, 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 basically. Especially if they're bigger like that. I like how it's 80, yet I can't. Everything seems to be uphill. It's an incline. 903,000. Right now, if it ended right now, we'd, we'd have just over a million. It would be there. 1,000 bucks. I mean, now as long as. As long as I do not get into some big accident or something, we'll be just fine. But, you know, always easier said than done with me behind the wheel. And, uh, slow down a little bit. Oh, come on. That's the hard part too. You, you slow down, and 
and now you're sitting there trying to get back up to speed and it's you know 51,000 pounds it's not like it's 25,000 it would be a little different then by the time we get up to 80 it'll go back down to like 70 or 75 and like right now I can go 85 so super exciting times